bring mu s, which is the coefficient of static friction of the floor. That's right. Okay, we're gonna find the maximum static friction of this shoe. How can we find it? We're gonna increase the mass. Okay, let's increase the mass. Yeah, because the shoe is too light by itself, and these things aren't that sensitive. That's right. And then we're gonna find the weight. I'm gonna do it in slow motion. You, you hold it. Isaac, you hold it. All right, buddy. It's about five. No, no. The body diagram for this shoe. Then we simply only have Fn and Fg. And since we already know Fg is 5 newton, Fn balanced with Fg, then Fn is also 5 newton. That takes us to step number two. Draw yeah. The, draw the shoe again, and now this time you're going to show the shoe is pulled horizontally. But barely. You heading to two? No. We are barely there yet. We're on like one point. Oh, it moved. Oh, uh, so what is it? What one, is point one point five newton. Fa. This is of course Ff. And write exactly where you need to write one point five newton. One point five is right over Good. here. All right. So this is one point five newton. Okay, good. Now that F F S max is simply equal to mu s F N. So now solving for mu s, we get mu s is F F max over F N. And now, just getting our data, we find that it is 1.5 over 5, which is also Hold on. 3 over 10. This is the maximum static friction. Ye no, that is the coefficient of static friction. Coefficient of static friction. Okay, so we're going to write mu s. All right. That is also experimental error, right? Mm -hmm. So we accept 5% human error because, of course, I think you are human, right? Yeah. 